Also tonight, people who work with disabled Floridians are breathing a sigh of relief. That's because late today, Governor Rick Scott lifted an emergency order that would have cut off services to thousands in our state. But our Chris Martinez explains why this victory may be short-lived. Yeah, it's a, I think it's For 20 years, Stephanie Estevez has devoted her life to helping the disabled, a passion and a career that until tonight, she thought she might have to give up. We've got a reprieve for the end of the fiscal year. That reprieve is a $30 million deal reached by lawmakers and the governor that will fund the state agency that helps the developmentally disabled for a few months. It was just two weeks ago when the governor ordered deep cuts to caregiver rates to help make up for a massive budget shortfall, an emergency order to cut off funding that led to protests by caregivers, many of them telling clients they'd have to quit. <laughs> Good job. Clients like Elizabeth Wilson, a single mom of autistic twins who would have lost three of her four state funded helpers. You got to understand that it's not only hurting them, but it's hurting the families too. But while the deal reached today takes away that hurt for now, the funding is still unsteady. In fact, more nearly as deep cuts for the disabled are already being talked about for the next budget starting in July. We have two and a half months to come up with a plan and use that money wisely and use it in a caring way for the people who need it the most. And that budget deficit for disabled services is big, $174 million. And looking ahead to that next budget, lawmakers are talking about cuts up to 25% for the disabled, and caregivers say even a 5% cut would put a lot of them out of work.